The Procrimp 1390 from AeroQuip is our top-of-the-line machine. It assembles all the crimp fittings and hoses AeroQuip offers, including our popular Matchmate Plus and Matchmate Blue lines. The Procrimp part number FT1390 replaces the FT1340 machine. New features include easy-to-use electronic controls and a quiet, efficient 10,000 PSI hydraulic power unit. The Procrimp 1390 crimps one-wire and two-wire braid hose like Matchmate Plus, light and heavy spiral wire reinforced hose, suction hose, Teflon hose, thermoplastic hose, and fabric reinforced hose. The Procrimp 1390 easily crimps hose sizes from dash 3 through dash 32, or 3 16 through 2 inch. The front end loading design offers good visibility and easy operation. Standard equipment includes a flexible work light to help assure accurate fitting positioning. With the fitting locator, multiple identical hose assemblies are produced quickly. The Procrimp 1390 comes standard with a foot switch, which allows the operator to use both hands to hold large hose assemblies during crimping. Users of AeroQuip's Model FT1340 crimp machine will be pleased to know that the dies and cages from that machine are also used in the new Procrimp 1390. The electronic controls found on this new machine have simplified all aspects of the crimping process, reducing the steps and time it takes to complete a job, which saves you money. This videotape and your operator's manual are tools which will help you learn and appreciate the special features of the Procrimp 1390 machine. Topics to be covered in this videotape include the loading, unloading, and lubrication of die cages, crimping procedures for various hoses and fittings, components of the electronic keypad, and maintenance of the Procrimp 1390 machine. Die cages. There are 16 different crimp die cages to select from. With nine die cages, you can crimp the majority of one and two wire braid and four and six spiral wire reinforced hoses in sizes dash three through dash 32. The correct die cage and setting selections are contained in the AeroQuip crimp specifications bulletins or wall charts. Inserting the die cage is easy. With the motor turned off and the cylinder fully retracted, install the cage into position with the alignment slots and shoulder bolts. You can tell if it is properly installed if it looks like this. Be sure to avoid tooling problems with incorrect insertions, like this one. It's important to take good care of your Procrim 1390. That way it will provide long, trouble-free service. This means regular and systematic cleaning and lubrication of all moving contact surfaces, like the inside of the crimp ring and the dies. Use never sees on these parts. Crimping Procedures We'll start with a discussion of crimping using the Matchmate Plus system. Fitting and hose pre-assembly should be performed as described in the operator's manual. Select the right cage from the current AeroQuip crimp specification bulletin and slide it onto the cage holder slots. Now, enter the appropriate setting into the display. We'll cover the display in greater detail later in this video. Then, position the fitting. Align the scribe line with the back of the die. Use of the fitting locator, correctly positioned for this fitting, will help you quickly produce multiple identical assemblies. Next, depress and hold down the foot switch. The crimp ring will continue forward until the fitting is fully crimped. It will then stop and begin to retract. To shorten the cycle time for multiple crimp strokes, you can stop the cylinder before reaching the retract position by simply pressing and releasing the retract switch or tapping the foot switch once there is sufficient clearance to insert the next fitting. The retract position can also be programmed to stop at any position desired. For global sky fittings, first select the proper hose and socket nipple combination. The hose must be cut squarely to the proper length. Debris must be removed from the inside of the hose. Skive the outer cover to the proper length, then place the socket over the hose outside diameter, and fully insert the nipple into the hose inside diameter. AeroQuip recommends placing a mark on the hose at the point where the socket will be fully inserted. This ensures proper assembly. 
Now select the proper die cage and slide the cage into its holder slots. Determine the correct keypad setting, enter it, position the fitting 1 16th inch in from the back of the die, then crimp the fitting by depressing and holding the foot switch. This same process is used for spiral single sky fittings. Internal sky fittings also use this process with the additional step of internally skiving the hose. Keypad. As you can see, Aeroquip's ProCrimp 1390 machine is fast and versatile. This is due in large part to the electronic controller. For any setting, press the Enter button. Then press three numeric buttons within five seconds. The display now shows the proper setting and the ProCrimp 1390 is ready to crimp. The display shows the three-digit setting which determines the crimp diameter. The ratio of change is one to one. In other words, if a setting of 120 gives a crimp diameter that is 0.035 inches too large, decreasing the display by 035 down to 085 should decrease the crimp diameter by 0.035 inches. To store the number in the display as a preset, press the store button then press any of the ten numbered buttons for at least three seconds. The green light next to the pressed button will then illuminate, indicating that the display has been stored to that button location. This means you can pre-program your ten most common settings to further streamline the operation of the FT-1390. To recall a preset into the display, make sure the enter and store lights are off and depress the button where the preset was stored. The setting is now shown in the display. Maintenance. The oil level in the fluid reservoir of the hydraulic power unit should be checked periodically and maintained at a level one inch below the top of the reservoir. The crimp ring should be fully retracted when checking the oil level. If necessary, add the hydraulic oil referenced in the owner's manual. All sliding surfaces of the ProCrimp 1390 machine must be kept free of dirt and other abrasive material. All exposed black metal surfaces should occasionally be coated with a light film of oil to prevent corrosion. The tie rod should be lubricated periodically with never -seize. In addition to die cage lubrication at 50 crimp intervals, periodically clean the die cages and crimp ring to remove old lubricant, then re-lubricate these parts. The die cages themselves, at 1,000 crimp intervals or every six months, should be disassembled and cleaned of all grease and debris. The cage should be inspected for worn or damaged components. Finally, the cage should be reassembled and checked to ensure that all dies slide in and out freely. With proper care, the ProCrimp 1390 will provide fast, versatile, quiet, and efficient service for all your AeroQuip hose requirements. Music